Thanks for watching Kin TV and welcome to this episode where we strive to create stories that connect families in the past and in the present. And we ask the question, what's your movie about? Because everyone has a story. I have a story. You have a story. Would it make a good movie? That's the question. And that's the question about our TV show Kin. Now I have been reluctant to do this YouTube thing because I come from a more traditional video background. I've been telling stories for over 35 years, and now I'm on this side of the camera. But during Black History Week, we asked Henry Louis Gates Jr. about his movie, what would his Kunta Kinte story would be about. And we asked Elder Dubé, Edward Dubé, of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, what his story would be about. Today we're going to share with you a story about Yves Moncier, who is from the Ivory Coast. He is a direct descendant from African heritage, but there aren't any records. He had to find his family tree of what he could, talking straight to his parents. Sure, this is the case of African Americans in Africa. It's virtually impossible to find the names of your African ancestors. My name is Yves Moncia, and these are my, my father, Antoine and Julien Moncia. I'm the third child of four. I'm originally from the Ivory Coast. Um, that's where I was born and raised until we moved out here when I was about 13 years old. But now through DNA analysis, you can find out the various places in Africa from which they came. I did not have the privilege to meet my grandparents in person. As you know, it's really hard to do research on African names because of the lost records. So I had to talk to my parents and they were able to tell me some stories and names. We don't have records recorded. We still have those. We will get the information by word of mouth. Some people do understand that that's just the way things was at that time and we just don't have records. But you'll never find the name. It's going to be extraordinarily difficult to find the name. So I would say they need to spend time with their grandparents or even their parents, uh, if they will really ask good questions and record the, the information, they will be able to acquire the names. They may not get exact the dates, but the names are really critical. Probably have to go back to the Ivory Coast, go to the villages where my ancestor grew up and just ask some questions. There are different kinds of stories. There's always a family history. I was able to get some names and take them to the temple. When it's your own family, it means more. You start with the stories and then you pursue them to see if they're true or not. Do what you can, um, as much name that you can gather from interviews, from whatever you need to do, and just be happy with that. And those people will also be happy with your service. We love meeting people like Eve and others who are trying to connect with their family. And this is Black History Week, but it also is the beginning of Roots Tech, where it's the biggest group of people coming together for a great event to learn more about their family history, learn about new technology and DNA, and have some great keynote speakers and so forth. And we hope to interview some of those wonderful people uh, this week. And so follow us as we strive to do the best we can to pitch our show, Kin. Now, Kin is a show that is about dramatizing a legacy story from a family organization. Those family members come together and portray that story in a short film that premieres at the end of the show. But thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe and follow us every day this week because we're going to have something new about some of the people that we've met in the past and who we're meeting now and to prepare you for Rootstead. <laughs>